after 300 days of unbearable wait, we are finally back. It's time for the FIBA 3X3 World Tour 2020 season to get underway, and it's fitting from a fan favorite city, Deverson, the historical destination in Hungary. We take an inside look at newcomers Team Graz who are fueling 3x3's rise in Austria, the home of next year's FIBA 3x3 Olympic qualifying tournament. Novi Sad stars Dejan Maisonovic and Marco Savage open up about how the COVID-19 pandemic affected them and derailed their preparation. And we go down memory lane and recall the top 10 3x3 moments in Debrecen history. It's quick, it's epic, and now, it's Olympic. Welcome to the world of FIBA 3x3 basketball, a game played with non-stop music on a half court between two teams of three players aiming to score 21 points before 10 minutes of game time. <laughs> Previously at the FIBA 3x3 World Tour, feels like a lifetime ago. But remember 2019? Yeah, that's when defending champs Novi Sad waved the dub to all they haters after defending their crown at the Utenamiya final by defeating Princeton in the decider. The four-time winners remain on 3x3's throne and Dushan Bullet, AKA Mr. Bulletproof, is still wearing the crown as the world's top ranked player. But now the adrenaline is in overdrive and the field is hoping to take down the Kings with 13 of the top 15 ranked teams in Hungary. Can world number one Lehman, boosted by the return of Mr. Robot, Stefan Stoiches, live up to top billing? Maybe it's number three seed, Riga's turn at domination. Or perhaps another team has discovered the secret to success during isolation. We about to find out. I'm still too hyped after an incredible opener to the season. 2020 has been crazier than a Kanye tweet, but Novi Sad losing on day one to Amsterdam might have taken the cake. To recap, the Serbs have won 141 of 165 World Tour games all time and were 4-0 against Amsterdam. But the Dutch Masters had other ideas. The male Vanderhorst might have been secretly auditioning for Dancing with the Stars during lockdown because he showed off his fancy footwork early. Big boy Thomas Ibosev had moves of his own, though, to shake off Novi Sad's sluggish start. But Amsterdam had the answers like Alexa, and Vanderhorst doesn't need to throw dimes when he's a walking bucket. You really thought the champs were done, though? Come on, man. Evo said, all alone like a failed tender match, even the score at 17 apiece. Then sniper Arvin Slochter went bang to break the deadlock. Aaron Royer was clutch on the line to complete Team Amsterdam's 21-18 upset. In another shocker, the Dutch played bully with Mr. Bulletproof, who was held to just two points. Defending Deverson Masters champs Lehman faced new kids on the block Team Graz, and all eyes were on Mr. Robot one of 3x3's biggest superstars who missed most of last season. Stefan Stoicic showed he still had those robotic moves, and number three ranked player Stefan Koic collected two pieces in the meantime en route to a 13-point game to give the Serbs the edge. But the Austrians, they shouted, I'll be back, and Moritz Lenegger turned Schwarzenegger as Team Graz took an 18-17 lead. The final minute had more twists than your favorite Netflix show, with Koic getting Lehman within one before Lenager leveled it up. Stoichich showed no rust when he called game with the first Tiso buzzer beater of 2020. Lehman put the foot down against Upolets Bernard in the Tiso fastest game on day one. A rewired Mr. Robot issued a statement nastier than unsweetened tea. He splashed two pieces, finished the lefty lay-in, and dish the insane dime to star in Lehman's 21-11 win. Like Amsterdam and Lehman, Riga were also unbeaten day one and made it look easy in their beatdown of Thailand. Batman and Robin were reunited with Norse Miezes and Carlos Lasmanis putting on their wetsuits. 
The two besties linked up with the fancy pass and nice finish, and they outdid themselves when Flight KLM took off for the first time in 2020. I hope your tray tables were stored. The most thrilling game of day one had to be between the Lithuanian rival Shake and Utena Uni Club in an elimination contest. Aurelius Pukala stuffed the rim to give the number five seed Shake an 18-17 lead, but Ignis Vyukus answered like, hey Google, and this had to be split in OT. Which Lithuanian team would stand up? It was the underdogs landing the knockout punch with Darius Tarvada sealing a quarterfinal berth for the number 12 seed, while last year's Montreal Masters champ Shake are out of there. Number four seed New York Harlem were also unbeaten as six of the top eight seeds make it through. Novisad and number six seed Piran qualified despite losses, and so did Graz. Number eight seed Upolets Bernard bid farewell, as did Tallinn and locals Debris. Forget about alpine skiing. 3x3 is taking over Austria. The first timers showed their talent last year after a surprise 3x3 Europe Cup debut, paving the way for the formation of Team Graz onto the world tour. We don't really work uh, together for a long time. It's like one and a half months, two months, something like this. Momo Laniger called me this summer and he asked me, like, Philip, we were building a team. What do you think about it? That's how we started. This was our basically second 2x3 experience. We qualified in Kiev at the Euro Cup qualification. And then we played here the Euro Cup, which was amazing for us. We played Latvia the first game. We won that game in overtime, which was a huge surprise for ourselves. For Philip Kramer and Moritz Lenager, they were immediately mesmerized by 3x3 after discovering a whole new style of hoops. When I got home from David's last year, I was like, this is the kind of sport I like. It's tougher, it's stronger, it's quicker. It's more my style of playing. It's different atmosphere. I was used to my whole life playing 5 on 5. Now it's more action, it's more fun. You know, music is going, it's, it's much more fun, I have to say, yeah. 3x3 in Austria could soon explode with next year's all-important FIBA 3x3 Olympic qualifying tournament coming to the scenic city of Graz. It was amazing to hear that. I mean, the whole program we are starting right now with 3x3 in Austria is connected with the Olympic tournament in Graz next year. It's going to be a really big event, and especially now we know we can play on this stage. When is the chance that we can go to Olympic Games? When do we have a chance with basketball to reach something like this? So we started talking to the Federation and since then a lot of people have been supporting us. We're trying to get new partnerships right now so we can work really professionally. With the Olympic flame set to flicker in their backyard, Austrian 3x3 players are dreaming of one day playing on the biggest stage in sports. To qualify for the Olympics, that's the goal. And to get better, you know, like this sport, the last team can beat the first team. We're kind of behind a lot of other teams. We are not on the same level, but we are there. And in 2023, we want to be the team to, team to beat. All right, here's a look at the quarterfinal bracket, which features seven of the top nine ranked teams in the world, along with newcomers, Utena Uni Club. First off, it was Old Foles, Lehman, and Piran renewing their rival. But the Serbs, once again, made it more one-sided than the business card. Mr. Robot hacked the Slovenian D and got the and one. And when he needed a breather, Lehman went to the beast down low, Mihailo Vasque, who played bully ball. This was easy for the number one team, with Mr. Robot showed that his range extends all the way to Westworld. He reminded everybody why he won that 2018 regular season MVP. Let me get the dub like the logo of our brand new ball and apparel partner, Wilson. Shout out. Novi Side in New York Harlem was a matchup worthy of a final. The 3x3 powerhouse against 2019's breakout team. Mr. Bulletproof against Disco Damo. So who you got? Damo drove faster than a late Uber driver to draw the first blow. And high flyer Marcel Essenwune showed off his two-way game. The New Yorkers were unstoppable at the rim and raced out to an early lead. But the two-time defending World Tour champs regrouped and scored seven straight. 
Dayan Maestrovich, aka the Maestro, had the shooter's touch, and even Essen Wune was helpless stopping Marco Savage inside. The Serbs shared like they cared to take the game away from the Americans. The Maestro completed the crushing 21 12 victory in style as Novi side won with almost three minutes to spare. Amsterdam was the standout team of day one, and they were confident they could win their first Masters. But they first had to get through World Tour debutants Utena Uni Club. The Dutchman looked untroubled with Jesper Jobsay going to work and DeMeo Vanderhorst sprinting to the rim like it was a dunk contest. But the Lithuanians had the answers like a cheat sheet as Ignis Vyukus went bang bang. Dimes tried to keep Amsterdam in the game, but Vyukush had his own tricks as the team who discovered and played 3x3 all summer in Lithuania once again spoiled the party. Amsterdam's world tour drought continues. Last but not least, two-time Deberson Masters runners-up Riga were hot favorites against Nubis Graz, who impressed on day one. Carlos Lasmanis floated on air to ignite the Latvians but the Austrians were no pushover. Morris Lenegger was cooking faster than Schnitzel to keep pace with the number three seed. Norris Miezis reached into his superhero powers and delivered the filthy step back and then repeated the dose from even further out. Lenegger proved why he's from Arnold's homeland, showing strength down in the paint to give Graz an 18-17 lead. Another major upset on the cards that was before Batman and Robin put on their capes and scored the final four points to give Riga a tough win. But remember the name, because Graz have arrived on the world tour. The TSO Shootout Contest. This is the moment we crown the best sniper in the whole tournament. The conditions might have been humid, but the shots were not wet. The all-time record was never in doubt, but Dayan Maisortovic set the early pace. Then he went cold when it mattered most. Team Amsterdam newcomer Arvin Slachter has emerged as an assassin and proved his skills under pressure. He had a slow start, but nailed two consecutive money balls to overtake the maestro to finish with 10 points, a total that proved enough to win it. Arvin Slachter is your winner of the Deverson Masters TSO Shootout Contest. Like basically everyone else in the world, Life was derailed for Novisad stars Dayan Majstorovic and Marco Savage because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But not only did they both test positive, the duo was set to represent Serbia at the Tokyo Olympics, but those dreams have been temporarily shelved. All of us prepare very hard on the beginning of the year for the Olympics. Then Corona come and the whole world stop. I was disappointed. It was mentally hard for some of us, you know. We had our goal, we set the training camps and everything for that, and suddenly everything was delayed, stopped or cancelled. But I just keep continue training. <laughs> what to do else to sit home or <laughs> I don't know. In my example, I honestly have motivation from go to practice, to tournaments and everything. I want that we become the most uh, dominant team in history with so much medals and everything. The Olympic postponement might have actually been a blessing for the maestro who suffered a series of injuries this year. If Olympic was this year, maybe I cannot play because of my injuries. Backboard fall on my head and I have uh, stitches here on the shoulder. After that, I have surgery of my knee. That was more difficult than uh, Corona thing. It's been a strange year like no other, but it's ensured the dynamic duo will never take 3x3 for granted. It was not so difficult because we know each other for years, you know. We spar on the training and everything, but that's not the same stuff, you know. So we miss the tournaments. This is our first tournament this year. My life changed one year ago when I get the baby. I don't sleep at all. So we came here like seven days ago and I finally have some sleep. It was strange. It was nice feeling for me, like uh, I've been playing this sport for eight years now. And it was like my first tournament, how I feel. Feeling is amazing. I cannot believe that I'm gonna say that, but I really miss the old players. 
I see here in Debrecen and we are very happy because we are here finally play some tournaments and I hope it finish well for everybody. It's time to elevate, baby, for the first dunk contest of the season, presented by Vitesco. Now, you waited a long time for this, so we had to pull out the big guns. Youngster Peter Grabowski, a.k.a. Grabo from Poland, will try to upstage two of the best to ever do it. Poland's Rafał Lepek Lipinski and Vadim Miller Podopchenko from Ukraine. These dudes must have been practicing day in and day out during ice selection because this competition was lit from the beginning. There was no time for warm-ups. It was instantly Miller time, with Podopchenko getting more tens than a cash register after throwing down a never-seen-before scorpion dunk off the bounce on his first attempt. Grabo was unluckily eliminated, but still created an unforgettable image, an insane off-the-bounce under both legs dunk that got a D-Wade like nine. In the final, Miller started strong with a power dunk through his legs, but Lipek had an answer by flying over Grabo like he was training for the Tokyo Olympics high jump or something. The contest went up a level with Miller pulling off a 360 off the bounce dunk, making it look easier than tying shoelaces. Talk about getting twisted. But not even that could stop the Lee Peck steam train. He produced a 360 one-handed through the leg smash with so much authority, we thought he might have broke his wrist. The clock had stopped on Miller time with a donut ending his title chances. With the pressure off, Lee Peck put the exclamation point on the first dunk contest of the season. So it's Rafal Lepek Lipinski winning the title and taking home the $3,000 check. The top three seeds make it through to the semis and are joined by the upstart 12 seed Utena Uni Club. First up, it's the heavyweight showdown between 3x3's best teams, Novi Sad and Lehman. With more stars than the American flag, the Serbian showdown was played at the highest level. Mihailo Vasquez had x-ray vision for the dish, but then Tomas Ivosev made him look blind on D. Marco Savage and Mr. Bulletproof sweetly connected to give Novi Sad a three-point edge halfway through. Mr. Robot then scored five quick points to change the momentum, and Novi Sad had no answer for Vasic, who was straight feasting inside. With Mr. Bulletproof's firepower empty, Novi Sad were done. Mr. Robot coldly pulled the plug on him as Lehman ran away with a 21-15 victory and bragging rights over their rivals. You know, it's a little bit emotional for me. I come back to the stage after one year and 10 months and we hope that we are going to win this tournament. Number three seed Riga were hot favorites against Utena Uni Club, but 2020 has been full of shocks and the Lithuanians wanted to produce the biggest one yet. A fire extinguisher would have been useful for Riga because Utena Uni Club came out on flames as they jumped out to a 6-0 start. Carlos Lazmanis answered with four quick points, but Utena Uni Club would not roll over, with Ignis Vajkus continuing his heat check. Darius Tarvidis then threw a flame in from the logo to give the underdogs an 11-5 lead. In a crisis, who do you call? Dun -dun -dun -dun, Batman and Robin. Wearing their new Wilson cape, Lazmanis and Miezis came to the rescue with four straight points, but Riga struggled on D. They made one last run when Edgar's crewmen found the shooter's touch, but Vaikush closed the door on him and continued Utena Uni Club's climb to the top. We did a hard job every game. Our game improved and uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm excited to play in the finals. How about I give you two top fives for the price of one? Yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? 
Just to get you hyped for the final of the 2020 edition, I wanted to take a moment to look back at the legacy of the Deverson Masters. Since 2016, the Hungarian event has produced some of the finest highlights in 3x3 history and a Tiso buzzer beater for the ages. I'll go ahead and stop and let me from the past do the talking from here. Four point game, baseline. Oh my goodness. That was a jelly without the jam. Bullet, oh, what an assist behind the back right into Savage's hand. He misses that one. Stoichich clears it, jabs that. You better watch your head. <laughs> reverse, reverse. I knew it was going down. Kovacevic with four, two pieces, a fifth would win it. This man has went absolutely bananas in Debrecen. Oh my goodness. He buries it, money in the grave, and they take it over Riga Ghetto in the final. Look at the double cross. I told you he ain't trustworthy. That's even sicker on the second look. Come on, Damo. Dusan, what a move. Damo, oh, straight from the rocker. That man is ill with the pill. Get him a prescription. Good kick. Drive. Oh, he just posterized Dimbala. It's time to get on a plane back home, fella. You ain't gonna live that one down. Oh, the ankle breaker. Tony Mean Dolevic. After that move, you can call him the bone collector. Stojicic guarded by Savage. Five seconds left in this one. The pass, the shot. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. How in the heck did he make that? The upset of the year so far as Lehman gets past Novi Sad Awada with a circus shot courtesy of Ratko. Now, nobody could have predicted this season's first final would come down between number one seed, Lehman, and a team that didn't even exist before last summer. To be fair, though, Utena Uni Club did beat number six team in the world, Shaquay, three times in four events in July at that Hop Trans 3x3 Lithuanian League, so we knew they'd be good. But this good to potentially win their first trip to the world tour? Despite the gap in experience, this was a tense contest. In his welcome back party, Mr. Robot was automatic early, but Utena Uni Club came strapped too with Darius Tarvidis, who might need to change his first name to Dame. I'm just saying. A desperate Mr. Robot wanted the W so badly he risked his body before showing the newbies he's comfortable in the deep end too. But Utena Uni Club, they had more lives than an alley cat and scored five straight points to even the score up. But Mr. Robot didn't come back from repair to fall short in the final. He splashed a two-piece and served up a five-star dish. A courageous Utena Uni Club never gave up, but Alexander Radkov sealed the deal to trigger scenes of euphoria as Lehman repeated as Deverson Masters champs. Stefan Stoichis capped off his spectacular return, walking away with the MVP trophy after pouring in 41 points for the tourney and he even dedicated Lehman's win to a new member of the team. We want to dedicate this tournament for Nika Kojic. Today he become father. All right, I know I promised a second top five and like Sir Mix-a-Lot, I cannot lie. So here we go. First off at number five, what's better, you tell me? The precision pass or the finish? At number four, you think you got Norris Mieses covered. You better keep thinking. At 
At number three, no top five list is complete without Mr. Bulletproof special touches. Second on the list is Disco Damo, making people dance on the Inlio court like TikTok. And at number one, Marcel Essenwune, he's gotta be a really good neighbor because my guy is always throwing block parties. Everybody's invited. The Deverson Masters was just the first of three Masters taking place in the second largest city in Hungary over eight days. So you know what that means. We gonna be back for more. Up next, the Europe Masters, so don't blink. Remember, you can follow it live with the hashtag 3x3WT on FIBA 3x3 social media channels on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. <laughs>